Are you a consumer? Are you a creator? Are you a creator? Are you a consumer? Today in this episode, I want to dive in a little bit and I want to help you just get some clarity on which side of the line you fall and honestly, where you should. Let's go ahead and get into today's episode. Welcome to the Your Podcast Mentor Show with Jonathan Jones. Here you will learn how to start, launch, and monetize your podcast. In addition to hearing the latest trends and the latest and greatest things happening in the podcast. And what's going on, family? And welcome to your podcast mentor show. And I'm your host, Jonathan Jones. And I'm glad, right? I'm glad that you're here today. I'm glad that you picked this space. And you're in the right space if you're someone who's a speaker, a coach, a consultant, and you're trying to figure out and learn more about podcasting because here we talk about the latest in podcast news and podcast how to's to help you establish your platform so you can profit on purpose from your podcast. All right. Now let's go ahead and get into the podcast news for uh, the episode. According to eMarketer, eMarketer is letting us know that in the United States, mobile time is being spent listening to audio content which is now outpacing time spent on social media, time spent through video, and then time even spent gaming. Look at that. Look at audio content just blossoming and booming. What's audio content? Podcasts, clubhouse, audiobooks. You got it. What, what else is going on new in podcast news? Also, now Spotify is rolling out what they call CTA cards, right? And this is something that's going to be available right now across select spotify original and exclusive podcast and this is starting in the u.s active this week all right because this is something that allows advertisers to have the opportunity to where based on the test and based on what's been shown is that they're able to get twice as many visits to their site based on the new clickable links and the clickable ads in comparison to non-clickable podcast ads, you can find out more information about that at ads.spotify.com. But ultimately, it's when the ad starts playing on the episode, then you start to visually see it when you're listening in the Spotify listening platform. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and get into it. So talking about being a creator versus being a consumer, one thing we first have to understand would be just the definition right? What's the definition of a creator? So I went to my handy friend, Google, and Google told me that the definition of a creator is this. It's a person or a thing that brings something into existence, all right? A person or a thing that brings something into existence. That's a creator. Of course, for me, the immediate thought would be God, you know, because he created the heaven and earth. OK, so that's a given. Duh. So when we talk about creator, if we're talking about a creator in the sense of like a podcaster or a speaker or an artist, this is an individual who is taking something and then putting it together and then they're formulating something different. And then I want to look at the parallel, a consumer. When I hear this, the first thing I immediately think of is like consumer shopping or consumer reports where people are talking about and reviewing items that they may or may not have purchased, right? So the definition of a consumer is a person or a thing that eats or uses something. And I chose this definition on purpose because I want to give you a clear visual. A person or a thing that eats or uses something. OK, but before we dive into this content, I want to let you know if you're a speaker, if you're a coach, if you're a consultant, make sure that you go to get paid with dot com. You can go to get paid with dot com and there you can register for our free webinar. We've got a free training coming up where I'm going to dive in and I'm going to show you how you can leverage podcasting to establish your authority, to explode your leads and to help you generate revenue, even with a small audience. Once again, that website is getpaidwithpodcasting.com. We'll have that link down in the show notes. Now let's get back to the show. As we talk about a consumer and we parallel it with the creator, the thought I want you to begin to think about is, is this. And I'm going I'm to share a personal story. For me, I just thought about me eating candy. 
And I thought about me eating candy because I love Swedish fish. I love circus peanuts. If you ask my wife, she'll tell you I love anything sweet. And the thing I realized that when it came to candy, I am the biggest consumer possible because I open a bag of candy and then it will disappear shortly thereafter. And the thing that I always come to the realization of after I eat the whole bag of candy is that my stomach hurts. I come to a realization like, man, I don't know why. I don't know why I ate the whole bag. And I know why I ate the whole bag because it's instant gratification. When we consume candy, when we consume courses, when we purchase new things, new products, new equipment, it makes us feel good in the moment consumer mindset you feel great in the moment you feel great when you you know get to go home and look at the new microphone or the laptop or whatever it might be but then when that bill hits and you have to pay you don't feel as great about it later john what are you saying i'm saying be careful not to consume more than your bank account can handle more content than your brain can handle and even to where you consume so much information, so much content to the point in the place to where you can't even be a creator. So let's go a layer deeper for my for my speakers, for my coaches, and my consultants. I just got three points today. And the first one I want to I want to just make is when it comes to consuming and we're going to look at this through the lens of content, because I come in contact with many people and I've had some people in my program to where I'm talking with them, I'm communicating with them. They've purchased the podcast program, but they don't go through it. They don't complete it. And I've come to the realization and realize this. They don't complete it because they have too many coaches. John, what are you saying? I'm saying this. Here's my first point. The only way you'll know if the strategy and or the philosophy works is if you try it out. For my people out there who might have coaches, I would encourage you just to rock with one coach. Get the transformation that you were seeking from that one coach. And then after that, then progress, then move forward, then take the information that you learned, continue to apply it, but then get with a different coach, right? So the first thing you have to make sure that you apply the strategy that's given. Because if you don't apply it and go all the way in, then you're going to say, oh, that didn't work. But you didn't try it all the way. You didn't consume a little bit, right? Like in hindsight, if I was to consume a little bit of candy, I'll be able to enjoy it. And then I'd be able to run around and I'd be able to burn it off by me creating an exercise, creating different things to allow me to burn off what I just consumed. Right. So whatever the content you consume, consume it, then go try it out. Eat the meat, throw away the bones. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to break the cycle. You have to break the cycle. And I'm saying this because I was watching Netflix last night with my wife. We've been watching Seinfeld lately. And the thing that is so funny is that after they play the episode, they prompt you and say, press play for the next episode, and then it counts down from five, four, three, two, one. Break the cycle by way of rewarding yourself with an episode here, an episode there. Take control of the decisions that you're making. Break the cycle, right? Maybe take time and binge record some episodes for your podcast, then go take a break. Break the cycle. Because if we don't break the cycle in this way, we will continue to consume, 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 consume. And then we'll never get to the place to where we implement the strategy that worked, which would help us to create. All right. And then the last thing I want you to do is always return to the goal. Always return to the goal. And I'm saying that because I'll let you all in. One of my goals this year is to put content up on YouTube every day. If you want the latest in podcast news, 
and you want podcast how to's in 60 seconds or less, you need to subscribe to my channel because every day I'm putting up a reel. If it be, well, it's a short on, on YouTube, but it's a reel on Instagram, but I'm putting up a short every day on YouTube because I'm challenging myself to be, to force myself to be an authority in my space. Just think about this. If I continue to add content on YouTube about podcasting every single day, maybe more than one times a day, then that's going to make me the authority for podcast news. So with that being said, I always have to return back to the goal. If I want to have the number one how-to podcast in the world, I have to do more how to's. I have to make myself more searchable. I have to ultimately create my own audience or build my own audience, as I heard Dr. Myron Golden say today. So I'm challenging you today. I'm challenging you. I'm challenging you. I know it's a push. I know it's a pull, but that's the only way that we grow. All right. I'm challenging you to always return to the goal. And that's another reason why I said you can't have too many coaches. Because one coach is going to have one goal for your life. Another coach is going to have another goal. And then you might have your own goals in between. And then you're hearing both coaches say these two different things. And then you're like, you know what? Well, I'm just going to go back to what I was going to do in the first place. And then you're just throwing money out the window by paying for coaching. Anyway, if you felt that this podcast added value to your life, right? If you felt that this gave you value in any way, shape or form, I would enc encourage you to subscribe, to follow, to rate, or review wherever you listen to the podcast, right? Wherever you listen to the podcast. Of course, I want you to check it out on yourpodcastmentorshow.com because there, that's where it makes it easy for you. It's a one-stop shop. And then we even have the link up at the top to where you can register for the webinar at yourpodcastmentorshow.com. So family, here's the really quick recap. So today we talked about being a creator or being a consumer. Hmm. I want you to think about which one you are. And feel free to contact me on the yourpodcastmentorshow.com website and let me know. Are you a creator? Are you a consumer? Are you a consumer and now you want to get into creating? And if that's the case, then we got some work to do. But the first point I said was... Be careful that you don't don't consume so much that you don't have a desire to create anything. Right. So ultimately, I was talking about making sure that you actually test out the strategy, test out the strategy, test out the plan, test out the philosophy to make sure it works for you and your business. The second point that I made was break the cycle, break the cycle, break the cycle, make a decision that you're not going to let Netflix just play the next episode, play the next show, play the next movie. You're going to say, no, I'm going to stop it right here. I'm going to go outside, do an exercise. I'm going to go record a podcast episode. I'm going to go pump out some content based on what I learned here. And then I'll come back a little bit later and watch and chill and reward myself. Break the cycle. And then the last point is always return back to the goal. Always return back to the goal. Keep the main thing the main thing. Family, it's your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones. I appreciate you, and I'm grateful for you taking the time to rock with us on this episode of the Your Podcast Mentor Show. As you know, feel free to go to the website, yourpodcastmentorshow.com, and hit that little microphone on the bottom far right-hand side, and then leave me a voicemail. Give me your name. Give me the name of your podcast or you know your social media, and then ask your question. I would love to hear what questions you have so I can potentially answer them on air. Or I would even love to hear what you've gained from the podcast. So once again, it's your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones. I'm here to help you establish your platform so that you can profit on purpose from your podcast. Peace and God bless. <music>